And it's a seven. Shannon, three of a kind. And he's got to come out with a bet now. He's going big, 510,000. Yeah, this feels a little more like posture than genuine thinking from Frank, but he's taking his time with most things tonight. Well, sometimes you want your man to sweat a little bit. Get to get a read on him, even though you know you're gonna fold. Well, he has been uh, time extension loose with his time extensions tonight, and certainly their usage. But eventually, he gives up king high. And Shannon takes it down on trip 10. Indeed, Shannon Shore on a little bit of a rush. Thank you, thank you. Momentum change here, Frank. Not taking anything in the heads-up battle so far. Uh, this time, Shannon with a 6-5. He's going to start with a raise to 160. Last time, last time. Last Frank. Time. Flicks in a call with 9-3 offsuit. So definitely playing loose tonight. That is one of those hands you could probably just give up pre-flop, but Frank wants a flop here. And an interesting flop. Ace, four, deuce. Both players holding each other's gut shots. Shannon checks behind. Turn is another ace. Shannon using a nice mix of checks and bets on the flop. A lot of players just auto-bet these, you know, ace, rag, rag flops. Shannon doing a nice job of mixing. And now, he's going to make what we call the delayed C-bet of 160,000. Frank with his gut shot and nine high technically has the best hand. You see there, he's 86%. But it's difficult to continue here. Well, maybe. Frank wanted to get a read on his man, and finally he goes out. 210. And he's gonna raise this hand with a king-queen. Moves it up to 210 to go into Shannon, who has just a jack five. But Shannon's been running good so far in the heads up battle. And he's gonna release this one as Frank Gives a goofy walk away. Frank is gonna take that one down. And there's Frank's tanks, friends, on the rail, rooting Frank on. Now Shannon Shaw with an 8-5. And he is gonna step this up to 160. Frank with an ace four makes the call. Go to a flop of 875, so two pair for Shannon. Wow. Junk hand flops two pair. Frank checks. Frank with an inside straight draw. Now Shannon's gonna bet this 210. Frank says I have just enough to continue here with that gut shot and ace high. Makes this call. Frank would love to hit this six right now, but an ace is, uh, this could get him into trouble. He has aces now. That it could, Vince, yeah, with his top pair. And Shannon only started this hand about 40 blinds deep, so. Shannon's bet 650 with the two pair. Frank's gonna have a decision on this turn facing Shannon's bet. Do I wanna call? Or do I wanna just try and put the money in in case he's drawing? He's no longer smiling. He's got a big decision to make. He's going to shove it all in. Pretty much of an insta-call, you would think. All right, I call. And he's going to do this, and he's well out in front. That's a good shit. And Shannon just wanted to recheck his cards. He's like, I have two pair, right? Yeah, I call. we got to fade an ace, four, or six. Shannon, come over here. Come over here. Pretty solid favorite to double up. <laughs> good luck, my friend. We're like even if you win this one. It's something like that, right? I'm not even sure. I think we're like even. 
Shannon wins at 5.1, so it would be even. And Shannon's a big favorite to make that happen. One card to come. Frank looking for a six, a seven, or an ace, or a four. The great champion, Frank Stephenson! Yeah! Yeah! Frank Dante! Frank Dante! Frank Dante! Frank Dante! Frank Dante! How are you feeling right now? Uh, Not only do you win over half a million dollars, you get the beautiful Ublo watch because your name inscribed on the Champions Cup. So on behalf of our friends at Baccarat Crystal, we want to congratulate you one more time. Here is Frank. Let's hear it for Frank, our champion. Yeah.